Part of the scaling debate is the knowledge that at some point in the near future, a large majority of all transactions conducted on blockchains will be microtransactions. These will likely be in the hundreds of thousands per second. This is in direct comparison to what is already being achieved by traditional banking services like Visa and MasterCard. A microtransaction is an amount that can be as low as a single unit. For instance, on Decred and Bitcoin, this is a single atom or Satoshi. When you consider that most on-chain transactions have a mining fee greater than a thousand units, this is extremely difficult to achieve. For instance, if I send one unit on the Decred blockchain, it would cost me approximately 2,000 units to process the transaction. This fact alone makes on-chain microtransactions undesirable. Paying a 2,000% markup for a single transaction is unacceptable. When you start to factor in other trade-offs, including blockchain bloat, you could be forgiven for thinking this doesn't work. But just in case this point hasn't sunk in, let's see what this looks like at scale. Firstly, the aim is to be peer-to-peer. -peer. This means the blockchain has to be small and efficient, so the majority of users can run full nodes or SPV wallets. Secondly, you need to be able to process thousands of transactions per second at the cost of a single unit or less. Tens of thousands of transactions per second will have an estimated minimum weight of approximately one terabyte per day. Data centers will be the only ones able to run the blockchain network, which will bring an end to the peer-to-peer -peer functionality. Sending microtransactions is expensive, either through the rising congestion fees or due to the mining fees being greater than the amount being sent. If a blockchain does go down the route of larger blocks, mining fees will remain lower for longer. To maintain this, at the scale of 100,000 transactions per second, you'd need a minimum block size of approximately 6 gigabytes. Most blockchains can't process tens of thousands of transactions per second without either increasing the block size significantly or reducing the time between blocks drastically. Some have opted to do both. Both of these actions combined will create an environment where tens of thousands of transactions can be achieved, but the cost is on-chain blow in the realms of one terabyte per day. The Lightning Network is an off-chain scaling solution that starts and ends on-chain. The only data that hits the blockchain is the opening and closing of payment channels. All other transactions are conducted off-chain. For example, on the Lightning Network, I can open a channel at the cost of 2,000 atoms conduct 4,000 transactions at the cost of 4,000 atoms, and then close the channel at a further cost of 2,000 atoms. The total cost, 8,000 atoms, and only the opening and closing of these channels ends up on chain. This results in almost no weight to the overall blockchain. 4,002 total transactions, all reduced to two on-chain transactions. This is highly efficient. To do the same process on-chain, I would conduct 4,000 transactions at a cost of 2,000 atoms each. The total cost would be 8 million atoms, or 0.08 TCR. The on-chain weight of these transactions would be approximately 1 megabyte, or 2 full blocks on the Decred blockchain. This is not efficient and gets extremely expensive rapidly. In terms of not being able to open and close channels during times of congestion, this becomes less of an issue when the majority of smaller transactions are being processed off-chain. That being said, if blocks become consistently full, the cost of opening and closing channels will increase. Scaling the block size is still an option for reducing congestion, but this would still be minimal compared to the scaling needs of an on-chain solution. As we move forward, the likelihood is that the bulk of all blockchain transactions will be microtransactions. Microtransactions will typically be lower than 10,000 units, all the way down to a single unit. If a blockchain protocol becomes popular, these transactions will be in the hundreds of thousands per second. If all of these transactions are conducted on-chain, every blockchain currently available will fail in at least one of the following areas. The blockchain will become congested. Fees will get unreasonably high. The blockchain will become bloated. As it currently stands, the majority of layer 1 and layer 2 blockchains are incapable of processing microtransactions at a fee of a single unit or less. The Lightning Network is still in active development, but it's already the most suitable solution for microtransactions. And the fact that it can be run on a peer-to-peer -peer, lightweight SPV wallet makes it even more impressive.